Death rate in the U.S. is at 5.4 per 100 cases for the second consecutive day. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. That figure is the highest since testing in the U.S. ramped up in mid-March. A new survey by the Washington Post and the University of Maryland indicates many Americans are cautious about their expectations for the reopening of the country. Just 37 percent believe the economy will recover quickly. 63 percent say the recovery will be slow. People are divided when the virus is under control. When will it be enough that it's safe to attend gatherings of 10 or more? Just 9 percent think that will be true by the end of the month. 21 percent believe it will be the end of May. 20 percent think the end of June. 13 percent say the end of July. And 32 percent believe it will be after that. Ready or not, many states are allowing businesses to reopen as part of the federal guidelines. Correspondent Jonathan Seri shows us what's happening tonight from Atlanta. For the good of our state, social distancing must continue, but our economic shutdown cannot. Under pressure to relieve the economic impact of COVID-19, Tennessee will allow some businesses to reopen Monday. Today, South Carolina allowed beaches to reopen with local consent, and some retail businesses can now operate with strict social distancing. If you can imagine a, a race, we want to be able to slingshot around the competition and, and get back up to full speed as soon as we can. In Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp signed an executive order allowing bowling alleys, hair salons, massage therapists, and tattoo parlors to resume business on Friday. We have the ability to treat patients without crisis care in hospital settings. The Georgia order supersedes local action, which has upset some mayors who say it's still unsafe to reopen. I will continue to use my voice to encourage people to exercise common sense, listen to the science, and stay home. Next Monday, Georgia will also allow movie theaters and restaurant dine-in services to resume, but not everyone's on board. One suburban Atlanta restaurant posted on Facebook, we understand our governor feels it is okay to reopen. However, we feel this is not safe for our staff or customers. All three states have yet to meet White House guidelines calling for 14 days of declining case numbers. Other governors, including California's Gavin Newsom, are taking a more cautious approach despite protests against the shutdown. The worst mistake we can make is making a precipitous decision based on politics and frustration that puts people's lives at risk. The FDA has authorized the first COVID-19 test that allows patients to collect their own samples at home using a nasal swab. Once collected, patients mail their sample to LabCorp for testing. The company plans to make the kits available to consumers in most states with a doctor's order. Brett.